Okay guys, we are back today with a quick little update on my mom's 2015 Ford Edge SEL. Now, as you can see, it is nice and clean. I've been daily driving it for about the past week or so while the Fusion's getting fixed. But anyways, I'm getting the Fusion back either tomorrow or the next day, so I figured I would just get it all cleaned up and you know, a few other things. Hide the oil done today at Ford. Um, just a few little things so I can give it back to my mom where it's nice and clean and stuff like that. But um, anyways, pretty much I've been daily driving it for the past week or so, and this is just, this is like the real first time that I've gotten to spend with the car, um, other than over the summer when I obviously picked it up, uh, picked up my Focus wagon with the U-Haul trailer. I drove to Wisconsin. That was a good 1,100 mile day, and I didn't sleep or anything. I mean, I went out to Wisconsin and went right back. But that was with a trailer, so I really couldn't tell how the car would do on a daily driver basis. Um, now going into getting going into this car about a week ago, I was pretty irritated with it. Yeah, um, I just felt as it as if it drove. It was just a very numb feeling car. Um, I mean, it's everything is electronic. I mean, your stability control is very annoying. It cuts your throttle out. Trash control, it does its job. It, it does it actually a little too well. Um, but um, daily driving it the past week, I've really come to appreciate the car for what it is. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty nice crossover. It's a really comfortable vehicle, and I've, I really have never cared for this generation of the Edge. But, you know, when it's cleaned up like this, it looks really nice. Um, but anyways, um, long story in the end, if I had to daily drive one of these, I really think it could benefit from a 93 octane tune. Um, just a really... It needs a tune. I just a transmission tune, a '93 Octane tune. Like I said, um, I just think that'd be much more fun to drive. But overall, it's not a bad vehicle for your daily driver. Um, but anyways, we'll get to the tour on this thing. Um, coming down here, looking at the wheels and tires. The tires they have about they have 20,000 miles on them. Um, they're about eight eight thirty seconds, um, eight thirty seconds all around. So um, they were rotated as well today polished wheels they look really nice they're aging pretty well There's a few little scratches here and there but that's with your normally polished wheels but anyways there's no real new body damage with it well actually i take that back my sister um parked in the garage the other night and um well she's not allowed to park in the garage no more um she kind of backed into it and hit it with her front bumper how just please tell me how the fuck you managed to back a ford focus such a small little car how do you back it into a you know what i can't even it's a female um anyway she, she cracked the bumper right here and got some scuffing along here i'm gonna try to buff that out eventually maybe when it gets warmer out but um yeah there's some warm body damage there i'm um, coming to the rear um it's it's the rear i mean we threw an elliptical in it and i think it scuffed that up pretty well so i don't know if that'll come out or not but um it seems to be pretty dug into the clear coat um, so the car has seen some usage. So that's just another reason on top of white not being my favorite color. I just wouldn't get white just because it doesn't age well. Um, but um, yeah, coming back here, we've got the wheel locked and stuff like that, which are a pain in the ass. I hate those wheel locks. Um, coming up to the front, you have projector halogen headlights, your LED squares down there. Um, I don't really prefer them. They look good, I just don't prefer them. So come over to the interior, check that out, how it's aging. I have no idea if this is like an accessory or if it's just all the edges get that door trim. But um, coming on over to the interior, as you can see the driver's seat for 20,000 miles, it's aging pretty well. Um, it looks, I promise you, it looks worse on camera than it does in person, but um, a little bit of separating from the foam underneath, but um, it's, it's aging well, so and my mom isn't my mom is not a slob so i mean it's it helps that you're not a slob when you have a newer car and definitely with the aging process but i'm um, put the wheel straight here um looking at the leather wrapped wheel there's no real shine going on with it i mean it's it's only twenty thousand miles but twenty thousand miles on some fords looks a lot different than this um let me tell you just if you don't believe me go on auto trader and take a look door panels they are holding up very nicely i mean they are solid build qualities i mean vinyl leather it's, it's just it's all vinyl and foam here um, power locks power windows power mirrors gauge dimming right here you have headlights 
some storage down here. Um, same steering wheel. I love this steering wheel design. Um, it shares with the Fusion. You have your paddle shifters here, which they they're there. They're just there because Ford put them there. I mean, they're they're really not an enthusiast type of paddle, but this is not an enthusiast car. So as you can see, checking out your miles there, 2222.2. Um, I just filled up, got the oil done right there. So yeah, electronic parking brake. I'm gonna start getting used to this because in my next new vehicle, it's gonna have one of these and it's gonna be a stick. So I've just been trying to get used to the uh, electronic parking brake. So what you do is just to let off, you just put your foot on the brake, lift that up, and then to engage it, you just put your foot on the brake and pull up and it will engage right there. So there you go. Um, dual zone climate control, automatic climate control. I love automatic climate control. I hated it, I just hated it before, but now I understand how it works and it's awesome. Um, checking out all that, you know, typical edge. Just wanna keep you guys, get you a little update here. It's been a few, it's been a few months. And the key fob is on me and fucking hate that. But I'll come into the rear. Rear seats don't get too, too much use, but um, they're aging. I mean, they're brand new, up, you know. Cup holders. This back seat is amazing. I would totally road trip this back seat. Materials all do follow through as expected. I mean, for a car that costs upwards in the high 30s, so. Um, this definitely is a solid vehicle from Ford. Um, the trunk is not powered. It's more, it's it's a base SEL with leather. I don't know if you could get SELs with cloth. I, you know, I don't know. Double check that, someone. Um, these seats do fold just by the push of a button. So there you go. You have a full size, it looks like. I know I've made videos of this car before and I've pretty much done the same exact thing, so don't have to go all over every feature, but it's been a while since I made an update video on any type of car here, guys, so bear with me. Where is the hood pop right there? So it is hood strut assisted, which is pretty nice, and uh, checking her out there, guys. Look at it. Just look at that fantastic 2.0. This is more along the lines of, it's a lease car, we don't really care, and neither do I, but um, yeah, there you go guys it's been a good motor um the power is it's a smooth power delivery like i said i just think it needs a tune for someone like me that's more power hungry um but there you go guys hope you enjoyed any questions drop them down below and as usual thank you for watching and we'll talk to you all later